So there is this new Windows PC optimizer called Raytune X. This is like not fresh, brand new, but it's been almost a year uh, this has been out in the wild, but I've never heard about this. Just recently found out about this. Someone actually tagged me on Twitter. Thank you for that. And it reminds me one of my favorite Windows optimizer that I actually use on my system. Uh, let me actually show you guys. This is called Wintoys. This is one of the best Windows optimizer out there. Sadly, this thing, Wintoys, isn't open source, but the Raytune X is actually open source. And this thing, again, looks really good. I think this is one of the best looking Windows optimizer out there. Windows optimizers are usually scripts or have bad UI. It's not like they are bad, Okay, I'm not gonna name any of these, but you know what I'm trying to say here. So this thing, again, looks really good. And I think it also works really well. And this thing is also fairly popular. So to download this, you go into the releases and then download the latest version from this. So this was updated two weeks ago, which means it's getting updates frequently. That's a good thing, actually. So once you install this, this is how it's gonna look. We have the home page where it says Raytune X. Here you can see your system info, your CPU, RAM, disk, network, and all that. And to the left side, we have a couple of options here. Optimize, repair, deep load, privacy, features, networking, security, and device. So let's go into the optimize section. Here at the top, we have basic system optimization. So every option has a description like what it does like for example disable background apps yeah this is must like now all the background apps will not run in background especially the microsoft store apps they run in background all the time this will basically prevent apps from running in the background and it will enhance the system performance in some cases okay if there are too many apps on your system and they run in background you can simply turn this on <laughs> disable remote assistance yeah, just disable it if you don't use it. I don't use it that much, so just disable it. Oh, okay, this is cool. Enable additional options in file context menu. Let's actually enable this and let's see. And let's test this out. Oh, okay, copy to move to. I think this is what this added. So let's actually disable it and let's check this. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's useful. Okay, let's enable it actually. <laughs> so let's do move to yeah this is this is useful we don't have this feature in windows by default i don't know adjust task timeouts modifies the timeout settings for system tasks it can improve uh, performance in some cases i think we can enable it most of these options are actually optional like it depends how you use your system and what you want so i'm gonna not disable that uh, adjust the timeout of the system services shortening these can improve system performance but it may cause service to terminate okay so I'll leave it default disable remote registry yeah just enable it because i don't want anyone to tinker with my registry keys remotely <laughs> okay so now let's go to the advanced system optimization disable unnecessary services this is gonna basically assume some of the system services as a unnecessary services and disable them so it depends again we don't actually know what services this is gonna disable so we can kind of enable it i'm pretty sure this is not gonna hurt our system but if there are services which requires to do certain task you do then you may have to disable it again let's say for example you run some program and that program says uh, certain service is not running or something error then you can go and disable this option but as long as you don't get any errors yeah you can actually enable this and it will disable all the unnecessary services that it thinks are actually unnecessary you get the idea right so uh wind toys also has a similar option okay if you go into the services and useless <laughs> okay so these are the services that most you know optimizers think that are useless optimize system profile it will reduce the ram usage you can enable it i guess you can also enable the enhanced gpu and priority settings 
yeah it will boost the gpu performance or your system performance okay disable frame server mode this is for video recording and all that i record my videos all the time so i shouldn't disable this okay this will actually make the video quality lower you can also adjust the low latency you can enable it if you're a gamer disable sys main if you have a ssd you can enable it but if you have a hdd yeah you shouldn't uh, disable it it will basically make the program launch slower if you again have hdd if you guys know me i don't blindly optimize my windows okay i don't run scripts or anything like that blindly i actually read everything carefully and only enable those things that i know for sure that won't hurt my system or i won't be using those features or something so this Raytune X thingy, <laughs> the optimizer is actually really good. You know, everything can be manually turned on or off. It doesn't run all the optimizations automatically or something like that. So for example, if you don't know what you're trying to do, okay, always just do the Google search. Just like that, it will give you info about that. Uh, you know, you got it. I know you guys are smart. If you face any problem, you can come back and disable it at any time. Enable game mode uh yeah if you're a gamer just enable it okay and uh, compress os yeah this has some really good optimization settings actually so this option is useful if you have less storage on your c drive let's say your c drive is getting full you can actually compress your operating system and free up some storage but if you have low-end devices don't use this disable paging if you have a less memory like 4 or 8 gigabyte and you're using windows 11 i don't recommend it to turn it off but if you have 16 or more yeah you can disable the paging and it also depends on how many apps you run at the same time this one optimized foreground app performance it will basically boost the performance of the currently running application by giving it a higher priority basically okay so yeah, this is a good option so any app you open and you're working on it it will have the higher priority and it will not crash the system will give more power to it basically <laughs> okay so i know some of the apps out there like adobe softwares premiere pro and all that even though i don't use them anymore but you get the idea the disable system restore if you don't use system restores yeah you can disable them disable cortana i think the cortana is completely gone from the windows 11 so it doesn't really matter disable store updates if you don't like the automatic updates just disable it whenever there is a update for application it, the microsoft store will automatically update them in the background which can affect your workflow or let's say you're gaming and suddenly you know microsoft store is updating your apps in the background you'll feel that okay you'll feel lag or something so you can enable this so whenever you feel like you need to update your applications you can open the microsoft store and disable automatic update same like windows automatically updates itself in the background and if the update requires a restart it will send you the notification that you need to restart your pc if you don't want that you want to check for updates manually yeah you can enable it this is a security feature which basically checks for unwanted programs whenever you run a program you may see a prompt that this program is not signed uh, it's or it's dangerous or something it is good for security okay so don't disable it if you're like security freak or something <laughs> okay so this is what we got in the optimization we have a repair i, I feel like this app is more and more like wind toys you'll find some of these options in wind toys too you can do system repair using dism sfc check disk uh, you can scan uh, usually you run these through the command line but you have the gui here and you can just run them okay you can check for your battery health uh, you can run a ram diagnostic the memory disk optimization let's go to the debloat section here you can basically uninstall uh, pre-installed applications okay i've already debloated my system so i don't really need to so if you just freshly installed windows 11 and you want to debloat you can multi-select the applications that you don't want 
and uninstall them basically you know this this app is actually well made okay it looks good and it has some really good options privacy you'll find most of these options in Wintoys too but it has some more options like not only uh, you can disable the windows telemetry and privacy settings you can also disable third party uh, uh, you know telemetry settings too like the microsoft edge one uh, the nvidia one chrome Okay, you can disable all of these. Even the Firefox is now in the list because recently they changed their TOC. I don't have biometric features. I can actually disable this. I don't have any of these. So all the softwares that are built into the windows related to biometric thingies are just useless. I can just completely disable them here. There is just so many settings that you can enable and disable and they're actually really good, okay? Uh, I can actually just go and disable everything here, but you still have to, you know, carefully read all these options and know what they do. If you don't understand anything, again, you can do the Google search. If we go into features here, we can enable and disable some Windows features, like for example, disable Windows transparency, like, you know, Windows has this transparency effect. Uh, if I turn this off, you can see, you can actually see it, right? take a look at the task bar it changes the color okay basically it disables the transparency if you don't like that you can do that disable game bar if you need to like I actually use the game bar sometimes so I don't need to disable it disable my people definitely I don't see it actually maybe I debloated it or something if you use stylus not recommended I don't have stylus so I'm gonna disable it because <laughs> I don't use it disable spelling and typing feature I use it so I'm not gonna disable it so you, you, you have to be careful when you are enabling and disabling these features but there are some really good options here so yeah you should go and you know check by yourself so you can see this is a really useful feature i did a video in this a dedicated video about the end task this is a useful feature you should enable it i have this already enabled from the system even if i turn this on yeah it keeps it so yeah enable classic uh, context menu yeah i'm actually using the classic context menu <laughs> so disable recommended section if you don't like the recommended section at the bottom yeah just disable it move taskbar to the left i like it in the center i think the chat thingy is gone from the windows 11 now you'll have to download the microsoft team app to actually get it so let's just disable it disable edge discover bar yes completely i don't want it disable copilot ai i actually use it sometime to test few things here and there so i don't want to disable it <laughs> but you can go and disable it if you need it you can go to the microsoft store and get it then we have the networking here you can change the uh, uh dns yeah you can go here and choose whichever dns you want to use security everything looks good yeah everything is enabled device it will give you info about your device i mean this app is well made uh, I'm going to say this one more time, Wintoys, this is like the best Windows optimizer because it's like the safest Windows optimizer to use because it only changes the system level settings and optimizes the Windows. Uh, it doesn't go crazy and just run some kind of script or anything like that. It is available on Microsoft Store. Even if I use some uh, well-known Windows optimizers like WinUtil or something, I still use Wintoys because most of the Windows optimizers out there doesn't have all these options to optimize Windows. So Raytune X also works similarly and it has more options than Wintoys. I think I can combine these two together and optimize my windows even further that's it with this one hope you enjoyed it but if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care yourself and have fun Bye bye